I work in mysterious ways and there are some days Someone's asking for it but I just rather behave My energy is sacred and you are not with it You're worth this piece of human best if you stay out of my way Set it up like scary that way Get it repaid, don't let it be delayed don't be Hello. Hi. Hello, hello, hi. I am Leander from Top Gear Philippines. Top hello. Gear. Hello, hello, guys. Okay. What's up? Hello, hello. I'm Carl from Top Gear Philippines. Hello, nice to see you. Can we take a photo now? Yeah, sure. Oh my god. And we just left the right there. Holy crap, something's going down here. It's pretty wild. We're here at Ayala Mall's Manila Bay in the parking lot, and there are several levels with cars. As you can see, some are starting up right behind me. You have an STI here, you have Toyota's, Honda's, everything, everything you can think of. And as you may have just seen, we just passed by Larry Chen and we just met him for the first time. And that's why everybody's here. Everybody's coming down here for car culture. And that's what Larry's here for. And we are so stoked to see everything, everything here today. We brought some nice cars ourselves. We're gonna show them to you later, probably. But what we're gonna do right now, until the end of the night, until God knows when, we're just gonna keep going around, just gonna keep checking out the cars, because what else is there? What else is there to do at a place like this? So we're now here at the roof deck where some of the wild cars are out. But we just want to do a quick sweep of some of the cars we saw here. So of course, there are Civics here as expected, but here's something pretty cool. Here's a Brio. Here's the current gen Brio. We have an EK here. We have an EF here. And over on this side, you have something very simple. Well, not so. I think kind of simple. Well, it's a Vios. For those of you who feel like when you're making project cars, especially this one, it's an expander, doesn't matter which car. It's, as long as it's tastefully built, then it's something you like. This is pretty neat. This is pretty clean. Of course, you have STIs there. Also this one. This one's pretty cool also. Of course, this is pretty clean, but this one, I like the paint on this one, this Altis. It's not always a fan favorite for something you want to set up, but this is pretty clean. Oh, shit. sorry. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is pretty wild. This is pretty wild. Oh, and we have here something you may have already seen on Top Gear. Of course, Alex is Orthia. Say hi. <laughs> We're just checking out the cars. Of course, this, is, this is Ed's. Yes, that's a so, wagon A32. Super rare. Sefiro Wagon A32. This has air suspension. I've heard it run on the road. It's pretty wild. You have a Camry. My God, my, I, I know a lot of people who would go bananas over the cars here. Oh, let's go check those out. Those are two very, very neat Beetles. Gum, 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 gum. Sound bites. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you got that, right? <laughs> So we're here now in Ayala Mall, Manila Bay, and we had a organized a meet, Kevin Carlos, Sans Filipinas, along with Ayala. We did a meet for Larry Chen. Larry Chen's been visiting. He's on his first day or second day today, and we want to curate and show him all the cars. Obviously, uh, Kevin did all the invites for this. We just want to share Philippine car culture with Larry, show him what makes us special, what makes us different, and showcase all the local flavors that we have. And I've been explaining to him how Manila is a melting pot for cars because there are JDMs, there's uh, classic American cars, classic European cars, there's supercars, and it's just a, a mixed bunch of cars. And he loves all the eclectic cars, like the owner type Jeeps, the box type Lancers, which he's never seen, the Re Revo, the Toyota Revo downstairs was it caught his eye. So anything that he's not seen in every other country that he's visited, he's trying to feature because he wants to share it with the world that we also have a unique car culture here in the Philippines. And shout out to this guy right here, making it happen. Thanks, yeah. Kev. I mean, collective effort for everyone, so it's nice. I love it. When you ask people, like, did you skip work or skip school to be here? They're like, yeah. yeah. It's a Friday, so. Once in a lifetime yeah. offer. So we have here a friend of ours, Carlos. 
You may have probably already started to go to saw him online already, but he has his Jerry here and it's pretty special. Dude, just walk us through. Okay, so here. it's all this. And it's a full Varis kitted Jerry Aris. So race any 24 wheels, Falcon RD 615K plus tires. As far as exterior goes, that's what it is. But the you know, special touches that I put here. You have the signature of uh, head engineer of Jerry Aris, si Saito. It's here. Uh, Venturi intake. You have, uh, we have a great oil cooler here. So for track usage, din siya. Because I also take the car regularly to the track and also long runs. So, puro mga reliability mods talaga usually yung mga priori priority ko for this car. And also, signature. yeah, there's Morizo signatures also inside. Uh, I have it down here. Morizo signature, also the Super Techie Works driver, and then si Sasaki din, sa Saito, also there. So, yun, I had people who were involved in the project of the Jerry Aris sign the car. So, yun. And then, Akrapovich exhaust system. So my name is Carl, I'm from Cavite, and this is my Nissan Sentra 1998, GTS model. Mugs lang, then paint. Yun lang po, corduroy, just simple 90s build. Hi, so good evening. I am LJ Sarao. I am from Sarao Motors Inc. And here with me today are two special jeepneys. So the one on my right is the 1955 model jeepney, and the one on my left is a 1990s model jeepney. So this started uh, back in 1953 when my grandfather converted the uh, military jeepneys, Willys jeepneys, into something longer to ferry passengers. So this was made in 1955. So it has the bulging fenders, a lot of chrome trims, and of course, this little horse. <laughs> so yeah, back in the day, jeepneys weren't as long as they, they are now. It can carry up to six passengers at the back and three in the front. So this has been one of its early evolutions. Then later on in the 90s, it became longer. Uh, it's more geared towards public transport. It, this one can carry uh, 18 passengers. So 15 at the back, then three in the front. So this is uh, a lot more common to see on the roads today. Uh, this is what you call a traditional jeepney, right? So one of the Philippines' uh, major backbones in the public transport sector, the jeepney. All right, so I'm here with the man himself, Mr. Larry Chen. I'm so excited because I got a jeepney. <laughs> so how long have you been in the Philippines as of today? Just a couple of days. This is something I've been looking forward to for a long time. I love Filipino car culture. I have a lot of Filipino uncles in the US. Um, a lot of people in my car club, Wild Cards. Also, a lot of people that I interact with in the car culture community and they've always told me hey you have to go to the philippines you have to go to manila to check out the car culture and i'm finally here after all these years uh it's uh pretty awesome it, it really is special it's unique and that's what i love about it so what have you seen so far in the past two days uh, apart from the meet today yeah a lot of jeepneys um a lot of supercars a lot of um uh, home-built cars. So just you told me you went to Banawe? Yes, I did. Uh, it, did was really, it was really interesting. My favorite part was how many bumpers they put on <laughs> top of the roofs of these buildings. But on top of that, they tied them to the communication wires that, that are running above the street so that they don't fall down. <laughs> I, I could not believe that that was a thing. And on top of that, these individuals that collect all of these taillights, headlights, transmissions, engines, I don't know how they know what they have in inventory, but they just have it in their head. Yeah. And it's legitimately hundreds of thousands of parts. Incredible. You should have grabbed the souvenir from Banawe, did you? Uh, I was thinking about it, but no, I don't think I would be able to bring it back to the U.S. with me. All right, so what's in store for you for the next few days? I don't know. A lot of it is going to be surprises, and I like being surprised, especially when I'm on these car culture journeys. I really want to be able to tell the story about what I'm seeing and what it's like to be an enthusiast uh, wherever. Where it could be Southeast Asia, it could be South America, it could be in Europe. Uh, I just really like to meet with the locals, talk with individuals like yourself, uh, meet with people that are uh, leaders in the community, like Angie. Yeah, it's it's really 
incredible. It's very eye-opening. They do so much for this community, and we're just so glad to see you here, man. Yeah, and I really like being the reason a lot of people gather. It doesn't really matter to me in terms of like, um, I, I, I appreciate the meets, but I really want to see everybody yeah, gather. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter if I'm there or not. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't mind being the reason, but I also like seeing everybody come just for Carmi in general. You know, I think it's really cool. All right, so thank you, thank you, Larry. Uh, we're gonna see you more of you in the coming days, so. Yeah. I'm excited, I'm cool. excited. Thank you, thank you so thank much. You. Chen. Hi, I'm Joseph Librojo. Uh, I have a 1990 Isuzu TFR. Uh, converted lang yung fenders and fabricated lang yung fenders sa likod. Slumb yung harap, um, modified yung suspension din sa likod. Um, RPF ones, 18 by 9.5, 18 by 10.5 sa likod. Hello, Jose Altaveras here and this is my 1999 Lexus IS200 and I've converted it into a full Toyota Alteza which is the JDM version so it's got the 3SG engine, running gear, 6-speed manual swap down to the cluster and yeah, pretty much it. Wheels, ABS Model 5, 17 by 9.5 plus 35, also got LS400 brakes and Tain Flex D suspension and yeah. Pretty much the JDM Alteza look for our IS200. Yun, today, so um, private meet siya um, through email actually. And yun, hindi na, na namin siya pinos on social media. Kasi yung space nga for here, we're trying to curate it lang. Um, and yun, uh, it's, a, it's a welcome meet for Larry Chen and Ayala Manila Bay. So it's nice seeing everyone. Uh, kite Friday uh, and everyone came from work. And yun, and it's, it's pretty nice, the private meet. Yeah. So we also have our cars here, of course. We didn't come to this meet without any nice cars. Uh, back there is the, of course, Miata I'd meet, so introduction. That's the car I brought. And behind me right now is the 218 IM Sport. That's the car Charles brought here. So on one hand, you have this fun little roadster that isn't as torquey as the 218 IM Sport, but has more horsepower, about 25 of them. Uh, this one on the one hand. The other, well, you have this Beautiful, beautiful two-door coupe with such a nice paint job. It's got a nice interior and it's also equally as fun as the Miata. I am beat and we are done for today. We have been going around for hours. We've been talking to people, chatting about their cars and seeing everything that this private meet, this sort of spontaneous thing has to offer to us. and. Of course, most important, we were able to chat with Larry Chen himself. It's such, a, such an amazing feeling. It's such an amazing opportunity to see someone like him, as iconic as he is, to be visiting our country and seeing what the Philippine car culture can show off to him and to everyone else across the world. So overall, it has been a very, very amazing day, amazing afternoon and evening. And just the kicker is that we drove these cars here. I drove the Miata, Charles drove the BMW 218iM Sport, and it's just the icing on top of the cake to bring these two amazing cars to an event like this. So I think there are more people coming, but again, we'll call it a day. And um, I guess this has been Leander Gresha for Top Gear Philippines, and I'll see you in the next car.